Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be trying out these Anna Griffin items I picked up either in Christmas in July or maybe more recently. Um, just a few very much holiday items that uh, I haven't tried out yet. So um, if they're still available there on HSN, that's where I initially picked them up. I will link them in the description box. Those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items to those links. So thanks for using those guys if you would like to. Um, yeah, one of them is not so much Christmassy, but it is part of the auto ship that I failed to get into. I don't even know how I had like missed it. I think it was like woo, 10 or 11 months ago was for a slimline die set, and I did the years prior to that, right? So I have those, but these guys are now available for like single ship, or well, you know, whenever they have like leftover ones, they'll still sell them, right? So, um, this one is one of them. I think it started off with the French frame, and that one is still available. And this is a 3D Victorian slimline. And then I also recently picked up the rose one, which, do I have that yet? I think it's on its way. Did I haul it? I don't remember. So I have the rose one, and then there's one other one left to come out, so hopefully whenever that one releases, we can still pick it up. But this was part of that um, auto ship. So I want to use this, but then I thought, well, I haven't used the Christmas slimline um, folders I had picked up. So maybe I'm going to run this through. This is not a Christmas set, this uh, slimline one, which is Victorian, but I think it'd be pretty. So hopefully we'll still see some of the background. So what I think to see more of the background, maybe what I'll do is go ahead and cut this into the frame, like this outer, like the decorative one here, and also pair it with the frame so that in the background you'll see the embossed background. I don't know. Some way to use that. Um, and then the, um, not the Madonna and Child so far yet today. I think this one. The 3D Holiday Mailbox dies. These are so cute and I've been really wanting to use these so I think we'll try that out today. Madonna and Child will wait for another day. So um, this one, simply I'm just going to run it through like metallic paper. It's going to look really gorgeous so I'm not going to be too involved on that one. So let me grab some paper and I mean that's where we'll get started right so I'll be right back. I haven't made many choices I haven't I don't even have a card base yet but um, sometimes I'll go through like my um, tonic studios like kit of the month you know craft kit papers and a lot of times there'll be something in here that I would like to use and look at this one it's kind of like a green kind of interesting color so I think I'm gonna do that for the background and then we'll emboss it so I'm gonna take this and sorry if the camera doesn't like what it's seeing but what happens. Okay, so I'm going to cut this first and then we'll emboss it. So I'm just going to take a piece of this and cut it out of here. Honestly, I was going to use some Anna Griffin paper, but um, the ones I have are like six by eight, you know what I'm saying, in her kits and then like five by seven or something. I can't remember the sizes, but not a slimline size at least. I don't know if I've ordered. Actually, I just ordered some Christmas slimline, but it's not here yet because I literally just ordered it like two days ago. So anyway, um, so I'll run this through so we get that cut out. And then this really kind of decorative piece. Again, this is not a Christmas one. I'm just using, ooh, sorry guys, Christmas colors. I have this beautiful classic card, Chili Red from Tonic also that I love and I think that's gonna be nice. Um, I think these are A2 size and this is way bigger as far as uh, the Anna Griffin slim lines are a little bit different from what I would consider a standard slim line. So I'm gonna run this through also. Let me see what this has as far as embossing. Yeah, it has some embossing on there, so I'll definitely run it through. Um, probably my little Holly, uh, Holly hobby, no. <laughs> Hello hobby um, uh, die cutting machine. And get that going all at once. And if you have another machine that you know you have to do it you know, run it through to do the cut and then run it through your embossing mat to get the rubber embossing mat kind of incorporated and do that or whatever it is that you got to do to make that work. And I will be right back. Let's get this guy out. Very pretty. I'm just going to clean it out. One side came out much cleaner than the other. And then we have this guy. So I have those two. Oh, I did say I was going to cut this center out, didn't I? Oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to bring this piece back, that way that piece gets cut out. Um, I definitely would have done it all at once because that's the kind of thing I prefer to do, but since I did it this way, I'm going to go ahead and run that through now. It was pretty intricate, that die, the outer die, so maybe it's better to do it separately, but, you know, I like to do everything quicker and at once. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through, get that cut out, and then in the meantime, I'll get this guy, hopefully in this embossing folder. I know they're supposed to obviously match up as far as sizing and all that, but let's see what we have here. 
Um, this is very pretty. This one has like holly. This one has little bells. This one has these snowflakes. And this one is a different kind of stylized holly. Or this one has like a damask look to it. Um, let's go with this one. Ooh, that's interesting. Good thing the edges might be covered up a little bit. So I'm going to run that through. It's just a standard embossing folder, so just run it through like you would any other standard embossing folder, and I'll be right back. So, look at that. Really pretty. Then we have this piece. Still haven't cleaned it out, but there we go. And so now we can see some more of that background, and that will work. Um, let me see how big our slimline needs to be for Anna Griffin slimline items. They're a little bit different. So it's already eight and three quarters, so nine inches long, I think, is what we need to be, be doing or doing and three and three quarters by four so it well it could be a little smaller than that but that's just a nice round number so nine by four so i'm going to grab a piece of paper or cut a card base that is eight by nine and we're going to score it you know four inches on that eight inch side so eight by nine and i'll be right back sorry guys i wasn't able to finish this video yesterday so i'll continue on um eight by nine piece of paper and on the eight inch side which Honestly, I noticed that when I cut it later, I think I cut it a little too, um, big for the eight inches. Uh, and it's just the smallest amount. I'll go ahead and measure it. It had just taken a little bit off the other side here. Let's see, eight inches. Yeah, I left like a sixteenth of an inch on there. Alright, let's check the 9 inch side in case I was eyeballing that in a funny way too. I sure there was. <laughs> Alright. That's funny. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, 8 inch side. We're going to score at 4 inches. And I just want to get a black card base. Something just pops really well in the background of that. And let's put that there. I like this side better. And with these guys, let's see, we still have our mailbox and things. I think if I stick that down and then maybe pop this up a little bit. I didn't want to do too much popping up, but what I can do is use a smaller dimensional. So this guy's kind of curled a little bit. Of course, that means I'm going to put something heavy on top of it to keep this down. Get pretty close to the edges. Oopsie. And I'll place something heavy on top of this. Just kind of center it as well as I can. That looks pretty good. Uh, I could probably go a little bit more this way over here. And. place a machine on top of this and I'll put some thinner dimensionals on the back of this which is usually the tinier uh, the smaller Anna Griffin dimensionals these guys this one's thicker and then the larger ones are the same size as the medium so anyway or height uh, I'll yeah I'll place this all around and I'll be right back so we have that guy in the background and this guy got a little flattened out when I went back to cut the center part out so that's kind of a bummer but I think I'll put that down here and again, just strategically place all around. I might stick stickers under here, so I try to do less of the dimensional and kind of tuck them a little further back, so around this side. I can tuck things in there if I wanted to. Turn that guy over. And so that is my card base. Okay. Um, all right, so let's see. This little guy. Definitely, well, I would say I definitely, I really, really want to use the cardinal. It's so cute. So, again, these are um, 3D impression dies, you know, and the reason I say it that way is because they never really worked for me when they first came out. They've been better, and I don't know if maybe I just have more um, ideas of how to use them or what inks to use. I don't know. But um, you can definitely ink them up and run them through, right? So then you can have that kind of a look. I usually just use like foil metallic papers and do an impression more like this, you know? So I do like the way this one looks just by itself. I was going to do some cutting and some piecemealing of the mailbox, but I don't know. Um, 
I do like a red mailbox, but then we're going to have a red bird also. I mean, I don't know. See how they didn't really do that because it kind of would blend away, right? Uh, well, maybe what I can do with this guy is run it through something kind of like they have here, something brown, some brown paper, kind of like this wood post, and then some gold just to get this gold top part, the mailbox itself, so I'll do that. So run it through some brown paper down in this area, gold paper, just not on waste paper. Um, I think we want some letters in there for sure, so I'll run these through some white, maybe some white pearlescent paper, something to make it look more special, but again with the embossing and everything. Um, this little red guy, I'll run him through some metallic red paper that I always have on hand. I always have metallic red, so I'll run that guy through. And I mean, we have other pieces that we can decorate with, I think. Let's do that and see what it looks like, because I'll probably finish the rest of it with, like, stickers. And I'll bear so back. I don't like these little guys yet. Let's see what that comes out looking like. So I use the red metallic Spellbinders paper, that kind that's, like, metal. <laughs> so cool. Look at that. Took really well. And I thought about it. I could have... <laughs> just go ahead and cut this out the whole thing hello it would help you know make it a little more sturdier too more sturdier more sturdy I said pose or sturdier there are letters they look really awesome um, again so I could have popped the other piece on top so I'm gonna leave that little portion just to help me glue it together I don't know what I was thinking uh, really on this portion is where I could have just did the top again it's that metal and I will put this away like I'll take that piece off and throw that away but I can use this for something else right this precious paper. I'm going to put it over here with the other precious paper <laughs> little bits. Look how pretty that is. So again, maybe full uh, base, you know, and then just this top part. And I'm just going to take scissors to cut this across here. I mean, I suppose that's the best spot. And then I'm going to glue it on here. Again, I could have trimmed just left this complete that way it would hold on now it doesn't actually have an opening for the letters which is what I thought so we're gonna cut our own I don't know if I'm gonna put a background piece you know it has this portion here uh, let me put these things away I'll be right back yeah so if we have this here obviously we have our little letters they can just be sitting there but if you want to tuck them in I think they look cuter so I'm just gonna take a knife and it kind of has like some lines here I'm gonna cut like this little line and hopefully not too poorly but just straight down see if that's good enough tuck our little letters in you know they don't have to be completely in there but I think that looks cute I'm gonna do a little bit more cute and I guess they can fall out like that, right? Okay, so we'll have that. Let's go ahead and stick these guys together because it's definitely going to be stuck together. <laughs> Haven't done anything with the letters yet. They're just tucked in there right now. I'm going to hold that together. I'm going to grab some holiday stickers, which I just used like yesterday. <laughs> and I'll be so, right back. So um, I'm going to use these guys, I think. I think there's plenty of maybe. Oh, I thought I had little trees and stuff in here. We'll see. Yeah. Well, eh. I was looking for more like background trees. I might have to get that from another kit. This one has... This is actually not anything close to what I was thinking I was going to grab from here. Because um, if it was a tree in the background, you know, it's all decorated. That's interesting. I don't think we need that. Um, no, I'll right. I have a bunch of holiday kits, so obviously I can get stuff from there. Or even like little gifts might be cute. So I'm just going to play around with this part of it because I'm not sure what we're doing here yet. Um, these guys, let's go ahead and put a little dimensional under here just to stick it down. And it's just one little dimensional for now just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And uh, if you want to make this look more substantial, I know some of the ideas here. You're basically going to have to do some fussy cutting, right? So like this looks really cute, the bow separate from like this swag. But that's one piece. It's actually this piece right here. And I was going to say, they cut into there, I mean, super expertly to get that little bow. So there's different things you can do to play this up. I'm not going to be doing that. These poinsettias, I'm going to see if there's some smaller ones in here. This is just a whole thing of poinsettias. So just, I'm going to play around with stickers that I have in my stash, okay? So I'll be right back.
was kind of popping up and being annoying. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is, I love the way the poinsettia is. I like the little, you know, um, mailbox where it is. I found this in that set, Sending Love and Season's Greetings, which is really great. I don't know that I'm going to do all of these presents. You know, I don't like covering things up too much, so I feel like that takes away. But um, let's go ahead and put some glue on this guy. And I'm putting glue just because I don't really know where it's going to be touching. And I wanted it to be like in here. Okay, and you can always echo you know, the same thing down at the bottom. That's a nice style choice. I'm going to hold that for a second. Um, let's get rid of this for right now. Actually, we're going to have to kind of think about all this stuff at the same time. Um, my little bird can probably just be glued down. And so I'll put some glue on him. His little tail probably touching. Oh. These are two very slick surfaces. So it's going to take a minute for that to actually set up. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this guy. And I will put the higher dimensionals just to give it a little more oomph. So behind him, I'm just kind of framing this out. Okay, I'll be right back. Put one down here. I'm going to be careful with that. Though. I'm not really going to stick that down until I get to where I need to be. This guy keeps moving because, again, those slick surfaces <laughs> take a while to set up. Uh, something like that. So I'll push this down. That's okay. And this, not quite what I need to get here. So let's see about... Hmm, it's just a lot going on already. <laughs> I feel like that, that honestly, you know how I do things, that would be enough. Um, let's put this red one up here. Maybe if that was tucked back there. Again, try not to stick that down. Sending love and season's greetings. You know I can't be covering things up that much. How about here? And then this guy here, I'm covering the post. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Um, maybe something like that. No, I wanna move my card and it's like stuck down. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, put some dimensionals. These are stickers. You can definitely just take the backs off and stick them down. But that's not going to work for me today. I need a little dimension. I put that a little higher up than I had initially planned because I want that to show more than like this one down here. Maybe I'm going to remove this adhesive. Pop it up a little bit higher. That hold up there, and then this guy can be here. Yep, with a little dimensional behind him. Again, the lower dimensional. And then glue on this side. And something like that. All right. Okay, that looks good to me. All right. Um, this guy I'm just going to glue. So I'll make too much fuss about that one. And then that guy will probably stick down once I have this on here. And you know what? Let's put a dimensional behind this guy down here. Okay. Let's get this off of here so we can see what we have so far. A lot going on, a lot more than I normally put on something like this, but we have the poinsettias, our little cardinal there with our cute little mailbox and the little um, letters falling out of there. Lots of gifts. If I wasn't going to put something else, I probably would have put this gift right in front of the little post, actually. Mm, can I still do that? Let's see. Can we still do that? And... Yeah, let's do that. And now, this could be down here, anchoring it. It's not my favorite look, but it's not horrible. I just kind of wanted to put it in this pile. But you know what? Maybe this is what's going to work for us today. Okay, so fine. Let's lift that up. And I need a little dimensional behind this now that I brought it up. You guys, whenever I start with from scratch with something like this, where it just dies, it's 
gives me the most to run for my money as far as <laughs> trying to come up with something um, to fill it in and not be too, too much. Okay, let's do that. And then I'll put some bigger dimensionals on this guy. And I think down here at the bottom because that top part will touch the bottom of my little mailbox. And something like that. To be honest, I'd rather have it kind of in the mix up here, but oh well. I'm gonna hold these things down and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there is my card. Lots going on with the texture in the back and all those gifts and at the bottom just centered the sending love and seasons greetings. So that's what I came up with today. Thanks for watching guys. I'll link whatever might be available in the description box. Again, HSN is having free shipping over orders by the end of the day of $75 or more, you know. Something can be 20 and 15 or whatever, but $75 by the end of the day. And um, I'll have the links there and the info on that. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.